Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> okay, you guys have to see this. Hi guys, today we're gonna to go on a vegan taste test adventure. We went to the store and we found some of the craziest vegan products that we could possibly find that we've never actually tried before. And we're gonna be tasting them live and giving you our uncensored reactions. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're gonna start with the meatless select beef chunks and gravy, vegetarian style. It looks like cat food, you guys. We have the honors here. Oh my god. Yeah, you need a spoon. <laughs> you Wait, go, I'm gonna grab go the GoPro so people can see what the looks like. That smells awful. That is disgusting. I feel disgusting. like you okay. should go first. It's not as bad as I was expecting. It actually just tastes like tomato soup. With... Oh, it smells like soup. I thought it was gonna be worse. Like, I think I've been having it's nightmares so about salty. this. <laughs> it's really flavorful. It's if you like flavor and cat food looking things, you might enjoy this meatless select beef chunks. Okay, it looks disgusting. Presentation is like an F minus. Mm -hmm. Taste is like a D. I don't know. What should we try next? Uh, oh, okay. Let's try the Dea Greek yogurt. There's been a lot of buzz about this. I have high expectations. Gonna mix it up really good. It looks good. All right. It tastes like Play Doh. It tastes just like Play Doh. <laughs> it tastes like. Oh my god. This straight up tastes like Play Doh. How do they sell that? I don't know, but to be fair, I have had um, the peach flavor and the raspberry flavor. They were both way better. They didn't taste That's like That's gnarly. <laughs> I think it's because they try and pump this so full of protein. It's the pea, they put pea protein in, which has like a really, oh. I, can't, I can't even eat. Mm -mm. There's going to be, I think there's going to be a vegan Greek yogurt yeah. that nails it soon. Right. What are we trying here? <laughs> I'm going to try a mild jumbo veggie snack sausage to go. I don't know if we even liked those in their meat eating days. <laughs> it Cheers. smells okay. It smells like... It's okay. I don't want to eat any more though. I could see how if you were into this pre-vegan, it'd be good-ish. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I'm just not into like, I don't know, straight up meat alternatives. <laughs> straight up meat products, period. It's no. okay. It's, <clears throat> it's not that good actually. It says, I don't know. I guess if you're like hiking in the mountains and you need something to go, but I think I'd rather have primal strips. Yeah, primal strips. Yeah. Questionable. Follow your heart provolone cheese. And they come in these snack packs. I was so excited to see this, so I'm, I'm eager to see how it tastes on its own. I've used this cheese in sandwiches and stuff before, but I think everything should come in snack packs. Mmm. It looks like cheese. It smells like cheese. Ready? Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> cheese. It's, it's stinky like cheese. It smells just like cheese. Mmm. I actually really like this. It's very mild. Mm-hmm. 
but I think it tastes like cheese. Right on, follow your heart. Good job. <laughs> These are good. Mm -hmm. I would eat these little snack packs. Mm -hmm. Next I time we have to you... try it melted. Oh, I was gonna say, what about melt? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm. Next, let's do the mac and cheese. Mm. We bought um, mac and cheese pizza flavored by So Delicious. It smells not so good. No. I mean, it's oh, and like it's, it's also gluten free, so right, the noodles are all funky. Right. Well, let's see. I'm gonna give it the the benefit of the doubt. It smells though. like a cardboard. Box. I'm expecting exciting. I mean, talk about taking an epic concept and just making it happen. So I'm excited about the concept. <laughs> Look at your bite. Look at my bite. <laughs> I'm very weary. This is not what I want my mac and cheese to taste like. I mean, straight up. I'd have pizza and a mac and cheese. I'd even have pizza with mac and cheese on it. But mac and cheese pizza. Pizza, mac and cheese. Not no, so good. It's not good. I'm sorry. Earthbound snailed it with the mac and cheese. Though. We went to um, Republic of Bee and they had like 15 mac and cheese options. Yeah, there's a lot out there. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, Actually, run down our ratings. Let us know what happens. What are we trying now? Oh, oh we are trying the Eli's Earth Bars. I've had these before. They're it's amazing. supposed to taste like um, a Snickers. Snickers. Yeah. Tony's never tried them before, though. Mm -hmm. What's the other? Go, Max. Ooh! I have it. Oh my god, those are the Hillary's. Cool. That's awesome. I've been seeing them, and I think they carry them at Safeway now, and I keep yeah, thinking about getting them. <laughs> Try it and let us know what you think, though. Yeah. Mm. No. It's really new to the market, so. All right, I'll let you yeah, report back. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <gasps> I already know I'm going to love this one. I, I want to see your opinion, it. though. It's really good. Mmm. The peanuts taste healthier than in a Snickers. <laughs> but really good still. They use real ingredients. Mm -hmm. Shocker. Um, what I like about these is that a lot of the chocolate products you get are like pure dark chocolate mm -hmm. and they just don't taste like the, the bars you grew up eating. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Mm, I'm saving that. Do you like this more than the Go Max Go Bars? Go Max Go Bars are amazing. Mm -hmm. Those things are straight up legitimately exactly like what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, next, no. next we're gonna do something else that's really gross. We found it on the sale table. <laughs> it means nobody else wanted it. I have never seen this before in my life. I don't even know what to call it. Vegetapa. Vegetapa vegetarian protein, sliced wheat and soy protein. And it looks like a 1970s um, photograph of sliced wheat. It's like protein. Oh my god. This can looks like it's from the 1970s. We should see if it's expired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why was it on the sale table? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it looks so okay, you guys have to see this. It doesn't even do it justice. Um, I think this is yours, and it's got everything on it. It's got a little bit of pizza mac and cheese and Greek mm. yogurt. Okay. All right, since you ate the, the other one first, I'll eat this one first. Oh my I, gosh. I can't even handle this. And it's got this film that looks like... It looks like the top of what you'd see when you open, like a dog food jar, a cat food jar. <laughs> you sound gross. I, yeah, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh my god. <laughs> I... Oh god, please. 
awful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Honestly, if anyone like is like, I'm gonna go vegetarian and picks that up at the store. <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> I'm so That's awful. Really good. <laughs> so glad I saved this. <laughs> That's one of the worst things I've tried in my life. It sounded gross. It smelled gross. Tasted nasty. Mm. It just looks gross. I dare you guys though. If anyone tries this at home, um, let us so know. This is what it looks like. We're tasting the grossest of vegan foods. Look at this. This looks like dog food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really gross. I don't think you can cut it up into squares though. No. If you want to make like a jello casserole, out of luck. <laughs> can we insert a picture of like the most disgusting? Yeah. Like, um, when did they make like those a in the 70s? A oh. bud jello. With like things cooked into it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is good. Cool cups. And they label it vegan. We found this at a really small market, so I'm not sure where it's available, but... And they have different flavors, too. Yeah. I saw them at Natural Products Expo, so they will hopefully be getting more exposure and stuff. Mm. You're done. I... I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was yummy. Are we done? We're done. Yay! That was only minorly very painful. That one <laughs> made me want to vomit. <laughs> okay, so favorite thing you tried here? I think the favorite I had was the natural black cherry gels. What about you? Yeah. I mean, I have to go with the Eli's Earth Bars just because, like, you can Snickers, man. But yeah, I like those as well. My least favorite was definitely the Vegetapa vegetarian protein. Can't that was down. really gross. That was I awful. couldn't even keep it in my mouth. Like, I needed to clean. I feel like I need to go brush my teeth as soon as we're done with this. <laughs> Biggest disappointment though, I think, was the Daya yogurt. I always expect good things from them. Like, I really, really love the Daya cheese and a lot of their other products. So, hopefully, they reformulate. And I also wanted to say that I did like the Follow Your Heart a lot. The oh, Follow yeah. Your Heart cheese, highly uh, recommended. All right, guys, I hope you like this little peek into the weirdest and grossest of vegan. Please remember that this is not representative of what vegan food often tastes like. This is just like the craziest stuff that we could find. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Cody's been traumatized. I'm, I'm a little bit traumatized. That was really disgusting. That yeah. was really gross. I would never ever give that to my worst enemy. No. Never. <laughs> uh. 
Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you can find more of our videos over at worldofvegan.com and veganoutreach.org. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe, the button somewhere around the screen. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.